one big misconception with pouring in taps is people tend to want to stick the entire beer up into the tap, and you really don't want to. It's not really sanitary. So um, there are certain styles that do that, but this isn't one of them. So this is very traditional. So basically, you don't want to half pull it open. You just want to go for it. So you just pour it open and keep it at an angle, and then you just want to watch the head build as you go. Oh, God. Yeah. That's not Boom! too bad. That's not too I did bad. it pretty good. Pretty good. Dude, I think mine was better this time. Uh, wow. Cheers. Wow. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I'm about to make a beer commercial. Oh, come on, John. Those, so are, fun. those were our pals, Rachel and John, learning how to properly pour a beer for our latest Jag Tag business. I'm the one that sticks the beer all the way up. I'm so sorry. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> we're so happy to have the owners of Leaning Cask Brewing Company, Josh and Stephanie Lipke, here with us. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. So please tell me how you guys got your start, because I do know that when you jag off goes to any brewery, it's a good one. Yeah, so um, we... We really come from an English roots. We have family that's over in England. So we, uh, we spent a lot of time over there. And um, we started going over there sort of around 2007 when my brother first moved there. Um, and we spent a lot of time in pubs and English breweries over there and kind of fell in love with that culture. And we really kind of wanted to bring that back here. So that's really where it started. Yeah. So you guys did your homework. Yeah. You found yeah. what you like and you say. wanted to bring it back. Do you think that that's what sets you apart? Because we have so many breweries. It's wonderful to see the expansion of breweries mm -hmm. in our area and independent brewing companies. But do you think that's what sets you apart? Yeah, that definitely sets us apart. We do, unfortunately, we couldn't bring it here. We do also do cask ale, which is very tradition oh, cool. over there. Um, it's hard to bring here, but we do all kinds of styles, but that's one thing that's unique about us. So you can get a little bit of like English culture, but a little bit of things that are familiar as well. So yeah. a little blend. Oh, I love it. So I, whenever I go into a brewery, I always feel like a little overwhelmed not being an entire beer drinker, but these look so fun, even just the labels. What kind of beers do you guys brew? So we do a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, we, we really have an English style of brewing. That's our back to our roots again, but we make every kind of style. So there's really one that's not off limits to us. We, we try to do a little bit of everything and always have a good variety at the, at the pub. Um, we, we definitely brought a good variety as well today to um, our gold nail, and we have a uh, vanilla coffee porter as well, oh. which is nice, especially <laughs> for the morning time. Um, this is um, the porter porter. Sorry, that's a porter. This is an English style ale as well. It's an yeah. ESB. Um, and then this one on the end, it's a bit unique. It's, uh, it's our um, West Coast IPA, but it's got a very unique story behind it. So. And will you, will you share that with us? Yeah, um, it was about two years ago, almost yep. exactly, right? So um, we had a semi-tractor trailer truck actually catch on fire and explode in front of our brewery. <gasps> oh, just and a casual yeah, day work. Yeah, it was just a casual <laughs> Saturday. Um, and as a result of that, uh, the long story short, basically we got a, long, uh, a lot of damage done to the building. Um, but we were actually making this beer while it was uh, happening. The event was happening. We thought we were going to lose it. We had to evacuate. Yeah, oh we, my God. So we thought we were going to lose it, but we did like, it. Where's the beer? <laughs> yeah. And so we did it. Um, that's on fire. Yeah. yeah. So that was the first thing I, I said <laughs> when I saw the truck going down the street on fire because they didn't know they were on fire. So we had to stop them. And yeah, oh, you had to be the bearer of that That was my that first news. reaction. Yep. So that's where you're on fire. Yeah. 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 Beer's fine. It was exactly like that. So. Yeah. I love it. And yeah. let's talk about how each one of your beers is named after a dog. Yes. Because I mean, that's just charming. Yes, we um, well, that's another part actually that's very common in England is you'll go to a pub and there you can take your dog. Mm -hmm. um, so we love that being part of the, the whole vibe and experience. So we are dog friendly, so you can bring dogs. Leash, well behaved, we do ask. Um, we have indoor and outdoor space. Um, but we name all of our beers after dogs. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna except um, that's on fire. Are yeah. we? Uh, well, <laughs> that one. Except that one. We're, we're going to pour two for you. So okay, so what do you have here? You the golden doodle. And the I'm golden gonna doodle. You a pointer. Oh and what are we going to get? What are the flavor profiles of each of these? Sure. So um, the Golden Ale is uh, it's very straightforward. It's actually our year round flagship beer. So it actually um, is always on tap for us. It's very approachable um, and it, it's going to be very foamy today. Ooh. Well, that's the corner. Yeah, here's the gold. I did good I did with much the golden. In the video. Um, yeah, so the Golden Ale is going to be very straightforward. It's a general, like, straightforward beer that's going to be approachable to people that are new to craft beer. Okay. Um, the Porter is going to be the, the, the uh, more stout like beer we were talking about that has some coffee and uh, vanilla notes to it. So. Oh, so this is pretty much an iced coffee. So, yeah. You know, we can have this. Along those, lines, along those lines, yeah. It's really good. Now, you mentioned the, the cask. Yes, Cascale. How does that how does that work? 
So it's partly where our name comes from. Um, so cask ale is the way they serve beer over uh, very traditionally in England. So instead of the traditional kegs that you see with the CO2 taps like we were doing on the video earlier, yeah, um, it's it's pulled from a what they call a hand pump. So it's actually it's a big device that sits on the bar and you you actually draw the pints out. Oh, that's so cool. But where the name comes from is the casks are um, horizontal, so they sit on their sides, but they lean slightly forward. Cool. So that's sort of where the name comes from. It's really neat. Oh, this is so, and I will say this is as Delicious Delightful. as a nice coffee. <laughs> uh, well, we're sipping on this, you know, the Jag Off series and the Jag Tag is all about pitching the next business. So, yes. who are you guys going to tag yeah. in our Jag Tag? So, we are tagging the Black Canary Coffee Shop, and they have two locations Springdale and Blahnox. I this love is, it. Well, this is great for us because I love coffee, and we always get to sample whatever is next from the next business. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Thank cheers you. to you. Yes, cheers, cheers to you. Thank you. All right. Oh, my God. I love it. This is delicious. Leading Cask Brewing is located on Pittsburgh Street in Springdale, and they're open weekly from Wednesday through Sunday. And remember, well behaved dogs are welcome at the brewery. The Golden Noodle is very good. It's smooth. Oh, it's delicious. It looks good. For more information on the brewery as well as the full on location interview with Rachel and John from Yajagov, you can head to our website, kdhea.com slash talkpittsburgh.